I'm also high, almost high enough level to, to change class to Samurai. All right. So... Okay, I don't want to hide the chat. So the chat is hiding with them, is covering the map. I get the level criteria, but the level, I hit the level criteria, but not the level up criteria, if that makes any sense. The attributes didn't quite pan out the way I wanted. All right, it's not trapped, so that can go for anybody. Trapped or locked. Ah, go to the transfer potion. I'm probably going to need that. All right. So we can get back to where we were on the uh Alright, so the transfer potion, okay. Alright. Rio and Probably only one at the moment, so I'm gonna send that off to them. Here we may get, yep, there's a reaper. So I'll rip a dash past him, rest the, it, them. Get the skeleton, it doesn't really have a gender. They, they don't really have a gender. I love it like the monster's like, oh crap, there's a reaper coming, just forget it, I'm out of here. <laughs> All right. Okay. This part. Okay. 
So this is going to be slightly complicated. Oh, not helped by the fact that the cat wants to jump up on the entertainment center. Um, do a rush now because that'll clear out the uh, er, the harpies. I'll focus my attention on the thieves. I'm going to rest before I... I read the rest earlier. I didn't rest last time I was in town. I thought I had. Oh, bugaboo. Okay, damn, darn it. How did I not notice that I hadn't done that last time? Use the transfer use the transfer potion, dash back to town. Our new dialogue. Okay, you look at that request, thanks. Rest on her face. Elon has its limitations. Used to be in the party, but my leader was a good for nothing. He didn't even care if anyone died. Travel alone, but now I'm kind of down. Maybe I should change businesses. Oh, yeah. Not well, I promise, but call me if you need any help. Okay. So, Rory is now listed as available party members and a new allied action with that. Nobody's leveled up yet, but okay. Before I forget, is there do I have everything I need to Yeah, I still need a bogey bird's claw to make guiding vellum. And then we think they're praise. Save my game again before I head back down. All right. All 
Okay. Oops, sorry. Apologies, Miss Kitty. Okay, that, that can actually be really useful. Um, Let's just rush and deal with the silence before we take on anything else. Ah, oh, good. There we go. And that makes up for the transfer potion that I used earlier. Oh, Callow might level up very soon. Ah, Rogue up here, this, up this far in the dungeon. That's new. Okay. Let's clear the orcs out first. <sighs> yep, this is Wizard Retail, the Forsaken Land. And untrapped chest. Still need the claw. Okay, now Reaper this time, that's good.
And they got a sneak attack on me. Oh well. Hopefully they'll all miss. For that. Alright, yep. Another fight like that, and we should get Kala leveled up. The Samurai? Nope. Friendly monsters, leave them alone. No XP, that's okay. Did... Yeah, Sarah changed back to good, finally. All right. Okay. Second, because this one's be slightly involved. Because I have to resolve a puzzle. Okay. So what I gotta do So I gotta go down to the third floor first. Thank you. I, I, I figured it was the appropriate uh, joke to make, uh, given our current situation. All right. Thank you. Okay, no one dead. So. The way this works, so, it hasn't come up yet, but the way this works, um, this wizardry game, unlike a lot of other ones works, is you have to have magic weapons to injure undead, or you have to enchant the, the weapons of party members to do it. But I haven't encountered undead yet in this, in this uh, level of dungeon, but they're here. All right. Okay, so let's check party members. Um, the Durgan does not have a magic weapon. Uh, neither does Ricardo. Yo does. Hollow does. Rio might. Okay. And Sarah does. Damage 12. One handed weapon. Well, like there's a set damage of 12. Okay. So that answers that question.
So we need to raise a rope bridge to get to that. In area. All right. Okay, more rogues. All right. Okay, so I've, I've been doing a let's play of this on my uh, YouTube channel, youtube.com, uh, on the YouTube channel, which you, which you should be watching this on. Um, and I've gotten through the earlier er areas of the game that kind of get to explain this, but the basic version is this is a wizardry style dungeon crawler. It has wizardry in the name. Um, it has a few new mechanics that other wizard games don't have. One of them is allied actions, where you can have team up moves with various party members. Um, to pick up through the story, or you find them in the dungeon, um, or you buy them in the shop. Um, example, Double Slash allows two party members to team up on one target. Um, I can use uh, Misted Shot or Restrict Shot. For example, here, to protect a couple party members, uh, we have six shot protect a couple party members from getting attacked by monsters. Um, if someone tries to melee them, they'll get shot. And otherwise, if you otherwise if you played a wizardry style game like Classic Heroes or Entry and Odyssey. You kind of have something of an idea of how this works. So, what makes so the large interconnected map is also kind of a big shift from the uh, earlier wizardry games. Um, normally, be to be a single levels, just like you get with your Etrian uh, Odysseys. Um, but here. I would actually compare the level designs um, as far as the, the dungeon maps to something closer to Dark Souls or Demon Souls. This this predates those games. So actually probably the comparison would be maybe more closer to Kingsfield. Um, Complete with the fact that this game has shortcuts that you can unlock while navigating your way through the dungeon to make your way, to help you get through the game more quickly. Access to and different class will have different special abilities that will work as random. Um, okay, so if you never played a dungeon crawler before, um, basically you like. You have a big dungeon that you got to go through, and there's usually something at the bottom that you are trying to reach. Uh, it, that, that thing at the bottom or, or top, depending on how the dungeon orientation is set up, has a mystery of some variety or another. Um, or with the original wizardry, there's a wizard at the bottom you got to kill. Okay, that's actually two levels up. I might actually need to go um, back to town then to activate to uh, level up those party members. Since that's enough of a gain where I don't want to lose the level up.
All right. I'll use your transfer potion. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. I also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any f future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks, also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that.